I'm going to show you how to use Notion's new Customize Layout Editor. So if you have a database, you can open up any page and you will notice there is a Customize Layout option at the top of your page. So I've just opened one of the database pages and I'm going to show you what you can do to customize this look and feel of the page. So when you open up the editor, you're going to see a page that looks like this. It's going to open up in full screen and you can even choose which page you get to preview here. So let's click on the heading to start with. You'll see this blue heading that's got the icon, the header, and now you see this new no properties pinned. So if I click on that, you'll see I now have the option to pin a certain number of properties to this area. What I like about this is that it pins them horizontally so it doesn't take up a lot of space. You do need to be aware that there are limits to how many properties you can pin here. It's currently four. And so for the purposes of this example, I want to pin the cost to hire this expert, the rarity and the expert type. And so that's three simple properties here. There's no relations or anything. I'm just going to show you the really basic editor to start. Um, and so that's good for my pinned properties. I wouldn't pin something like description because you'll see that uh, quite a bit gets cut off there. So it's not really that useful. So you only really want to use it for really short properties or selects and that sort of thing. And then you'll see below, I've got a property group and then there's the content. So content is whatever is in the body of your page is gonna show up in this content area. And so let's work with this property group. You'll see now there's an option to add to panel and I've got some options over here. So you'll see here, I've got some properties that are, have already been hidden and I can't actually see them here. Um, I can only see them in this order here. So one of the first things I like to recommend doing is to create a section for things like descriptors or meta information. So I think meta is a good one to use as a new section title and you can just click here, add section, type it and click done. And you'll notice already that there's this nice little toggle so that when you open up a page, you get to very quickly collapse all that information. So if you've been no using Notion for a while, you know, some of your databases might have tons and tons of properties there and it gets pretty long to scroll through. So this is a really nice way to quickly collapse things. The other thing that I can do is I can select for this description to go into the layout. So I'm gonna click add to layout and let's see what that does. It creates a whole separate section specifically just for this description. I can also drag this up if I'd like, so I'm sort of featuring that. I can also, if I'd like, decide to add this to the panel. And so then it sort of shows up here, which means it actually won't show up until you decide to open the panel. So the one danger about this is if you're working with teams, it can be easy to accidentally hide information. So newer Notion users may not realize there's actually more context available unless they click on the three dots on the page, which I'll show you. So um, I would say use the panel sparingly or just be very mindful of how you're using that. So I can move this back to page and here it is again. I'm gonna put this above the property group. And the other cool thing that you can do is because these are numbers, um, you can actually kind of feature them in this sidebar as well and feature them with larger formatting. So for example, let's say I want to showcase the capacity. What I can do is add this to the layout and I'm going to move this to the panel. I'm not sure why you can't directly move it to um, the panel, but it takes a couple steps. And then from here, you can choose your style being large or small. You can use a bar chart maybe uh, divide by 10, ring, etc. I'm just going to keep it as a number for now. Um, and you can also do your, your formatting, your decimal places, etc. And so if I click back on the property group, I can see these items here again. And I could do the same thing with ride satisfaction as well. Let's add it to the layout and then add it to the panel. Um, I could also add it to a property group. And because I only have one property group, it adds it back to this meta group. So you could create several different uh, groupings. You know, you've got meta information, maybe you've got customer information, that sort of thing. So you've got these sort of couple different areas where you can see this info and it's just a nice way to kind of tuck everything together. So when you're ready, you will need to click apply to all pages, which means this will impact all of the pages in the database. So you can't have a custom layout per page. That's just the way it is. So I'm gonna click apply to all pages. Great, and so when I open this page again, this is what the page looks like now. I've got these nice pinned 
items here. I've got the meta information down here, which I can just hide all at once. So it keeps it really, really clean. You've got the body of the post here. And so to open that panel, you have to hover and click on view details, and then you, you'll see any of those items that you added to the panel here. So again, for newer users, they may not realize, and you're like, oh, where did I, where are those properties? I can't find them in here. Um, so sometimes it can be a little bit confusing if you're working with newer people. So just be aware, it's just kind of a nice way to tuck a lot of like really technical info that you don't need to see at first glance, but still needs to be pretty accessible. And so you just click on that to open and close. And then again, go back to customize layout if you want to change that. Um, and then I can go back and look at what that looked like for one of the other experts. Great. And again, open up that. I can see the capacity. So it's just, uh, yeah, some, some fun things that you can do there to kind of shrink and clean up some of your database looks. Uh, things get a little bit more tricky or more advanced when you've got lots of relations to work with. So I'll show that in a separate video, but that is an introduction to how to work with the customized layout to make sure that your database pages are a lot cleaner. Okay, now let's look at a slightly more advanced example of the customized layout editor with something that's got more relations. So I've opened up a glossary here, skincare glossary, and you'll notice these pages have a lot of different relations and properties, and there's quite a few properties as well as stuff in the body, etc. So let's open up this one, AHA, and we will customize the layout on this. So the first thing I need to decide is whether or not I would like to pin any properties to the top. And so I would just need to go through my properties and ask myself, what is the thing that I would want to see first and foremost that would make the most sense? In some cases, a description might be helpful, but again, it gets cut off pretty quickly. So I don't know how useful that's going to be. I think maybe something like functions. So right off the bat, I kind of know what its purpose is. Um, special properties, potentially, there's nothing there purpose, something like that. So I don't have a ton of properties there that I think would be super useful. I'll just pin functions and purpose. Yeah, I don't think special properties has anything, but uh, I'll pin that there just in case. And so I've got this sort of overview here. Great. The next thing I want to do is bump out that description so that it's right there visible at the top. So I'm going to choose to make the description its own thing by adding it to the layout and I'm going to drag this above the property. So I want that to always be showing separately. And then some of these tags, I don't know that I always necessarily need them visible. And so I am going to play around with these relations to show some different ways that we might want to view those. So again, the first thing I like to do is to add a section called meta. And that way I can tuck everything together by one click opening and closing that meta. Then I can decide if there's anything I want to kind of separate out. And so let's add another property. Uh, no, not property, sorry. Let's add another section. And I'll call this uh, products. And I'm going to drag products and related into its own um, heading there. And so that way I can open and close those. The meta is here. And one thing we can do is move some of this information to the panel. So let's go to the helps with, which again, you can't really edit them from here. So you have to edit them in the sidebar here. So let's go to helps with, and what I'm gonna do is add it to the layout, and then I'm going to add it to the panel. You can also add it to um, add to property group. So I can choose one of the other headers. And the other thing that you can do, which, looks a bit similar to what you might remember as showing as minimal is converting to a relations group. So let's actually do that first, convert to a relations group. And then I can also, um, I can remove from layout. I can, I can't add to the panel now because this is its own relations group and this is a property group. And so let's actually do this with another item as well, just so you can see what I'm about to show you. The tags here, I'm going to add to layout. Again, it pulls it away from the meta and pulls it into its own tags here. And I can do the same thing, add to a relations group. And you'll see it actually groups it together with these other relations. So notions like, okay, anything that's a relation, we're gonna group that together. But maybe I decide I don't wanna do that and I'd like to show as minimal, right? So you might remember the way that used to look 
when you could select for a property to show as minimal. We can also show as page section, which will bring it back into the relations group, or we can add to layout, and then I can add it to the panel. So there's a couple more steps. It takes a little bit of playing around, um, but let's say I wanna tuck those away into the panel sidebar. I've got my content here, and you'll see there's this option to create a new view. So what I can do is I can create, it's, a, it's almost like a separate tab where I can see one of the relations. So let's, for example, look at products. And you'll see here that Notion has created what is essentially the equivalent of a linked view that is related to the parent page. So here I'm looking at beauty products and I can do all the filtering. It's kind of the equivalent of making your own linked database. And then this content is page content. So it's a little different than what we've seen before in terms of how to work with content pages. Um, I admit I'm not always as stoked about this look and feel um, because now this actually looks like a database even though it's page content. So it can be a little bit confusing, but it's just good to know that you can do this and to make things look a little bit like pages. So you can do this with any of your, your other um, databases. So if I click new view, I can choose and basically Notion is already bringing in the related database. So again, I could choose functions. Um, yeah, let's look, at, let's look at related products. Okay, I don't think there's anything in there right now, but and then we've got our content. So again, hide stuff in the sidebar. We've got a relations group. There's still other relations happening here. Um, maybe I'd like to move the don't mix with and the works well with into the sidebar as well. So again, just to show how we do that, works well with, I'm going to add to layout. It gets bumped over here and then I can add to the panel. And then I can do the same thing if I want with the do not mix with, add to layout. I'm not sure why you can't just go add to panel, um, but that's what it is. And so again, we've got this products, we've got meta. I might even decide I don't need products separated from meta. So if I decide I want to delete a header, I can click on that and delete. And you'll see it says no properties will be deleted. It's just deleting the section header. And then everything else gets tucked under, under this meta information. So let's apply it and take a look at what this actually looks like in practice. And again, if you want to preview this with other items, in your database, you can kind of see what that looks like and be like, oh, okay, these kind of get cut off. Maybe I don't want to pin that property, this sort of thing. So I'm going to say apply to all pages. Okay, and then let's open up one of these. Okay, so I see the items are pinned at the top. I can see the description is always visible and then I can just tuck all of that away with the meta. I actually don't like how this looks. Um, you can see how sometimes it would be quite helpful. For example, if you did this with your task database and you just want to add a new task, that's pretty quick to do that. So you've got lots of options now. It just takes a little bit of, you know, clicking and testing a little bit to kind of see how it works and see how it looks. But I like this as a cleaner option. And then you can see also there's this, the related items, the products, and then the content. So it's kind of an interesting layout. Let's look again at AHA. So it's, it's a sort of different visual here. You don't necessarily realize that you're in a content page. It kind of looks like a database. And then here, these are database views. So it's kind of interesting, gives you some options. I don't think it's the most intuitive, but it's kind of an interesting option. Um, and then again, if you want to connect relations that already exist here, you have to use this magnifying glass to link an existing page. Otherwise, if you type something in here, you are adding something new to the database. So that is the customized layout when you are working with relations. So it's a little bit more complex. And then again, I can always click on view details and that's gonna show those items that I had put into the panel. So I hope that helps you understand the editor. I definitely think it takes a little bit of playing around. It's not the most intuitive experience. In the past, we used to be able to set properties to show as minimal which we can't do in the same way anymore. So it just takes a little bit of play, um, but there's a lot of customization options here. So hopefully that helps.